Good morning. Welcome to Oil for the Journey. I'm your journey reader, Alexis, and today's scripture reading is taken from Deuteronomy chapters 29 to 31. Our scheduled reading follows the Bridges for Peace Ignite the Truth Bible reading plan. So let's begin. I will be reading from the ESV version. Feel free to follow along or just to keep me near you. Chapter 29. These are the words of the covenant that the Lord commanded Moses to make with the people of Israel in the land of Moab, besides the covenant that he made with them at Horeb. And Moses summoned all Israel and said to them, You have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt, to Pharaoh and to all his servants, and to all his land, the great trials that your eyes saw, the signs and those great wonders. But to this day, the Lord has not given you a heart to understand or eyes to see or ears to hear. I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes have not worn out on you and your sandals have not worn off your feet. You have not eaten bread and you have not drunk wine or strong drink that you may know that I am the Lord your God. And when you came to this place, Shion, the king of Heshbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, came out against us to battle, but we defeated them. We took their land and gave it for an inheritance to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of of the Manassehites. Therefore, keep the word of this covenant and do them, that you may prosper in all that you do. Verse 10. You are standing today, all of you, before the Lord your God, the heads of your tribe, your elders and your officers, all the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, and the sojourner who is in your camp, from the one who chops your wood to the one who draws your water, so that you may enter into the sworn covenant of the Lord your God, which the Lord your God is making with you today that he may establish you today as his people and that he may be your God. And he promised you and as he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. It is not with you alone that I am making this sworn covenant, but with whoever is standing here with us today before the Lord our God and with whoever is not here with us today. You know how we lived in the land of Egypt and how we came through the midst of the nations through which you passed. And you have seen their detestable things, their idols of wood and stone and silver and gold, which were among them. Beware, lest there be among you a man or woman or clan or tribe whose heart is turning away today from the Lord your God and go and serve the gods of those nations. Beware lest there be among you a root bearing poisonous and bitter fruit. One who, when he hears the words of this one covenant, blesses himself in his heart saying, I shall be safe, though I walk in the stubbornness of my heart. This will lead to the sweeping away of moist and dry alike. The Lord will not be willing to forgive him, but rather the anger of the Lord and his jealousy will smoke against that man. And the curses written in this book will settle upon him, and the Lord will blot out his name from under heaven. And the Lord will single him out from all of the tribes of Israel for calamity in accordance with all of the curses of the covenant written in this book of the law. Verse 22. And the next generation, your children who rise up after you, and the foreigner who comes from a far land, will say when they see the afflictions of that land and the sickness with which the Lord has made it sick, the whole land burned out with brimstone and salt, nothing sown down, nothing growing, when no plants can sprout, and overgrown like that of Sodom and Gomorrah and Admar, and Zebulun, which the Lord overthrew in his anger and wrath. All the nations 
will say, Why has the Lord done this to this land? What caused the heat of this great anger? Then people will say, It is because they abandoned the covenant of the Lord, of the God of their fathers, which he made with them. And when he brought out sorry, and when he brought them out of the land of Egypt, and went out and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they had not known, and whom he had not allotted to them. Therefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against this land, bringing upon it all the curses written in this book. And the Lord uprooted them from their land in anger and fury and great wrath, and cast them into another land as they are this day. The secret things belong to the Lord our God, and the things that are revealed belong to us and our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Chapter 30 Chapter 30 And when all these things come upon you, the blessing and the curse which I have set before you, and you call them to mind among all the nations where the Lord your God has driven you, and return to the Lord your God, you and your children, and obey his voice in all that I command you today, with all your heart and with all your soul, then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have mercy on you, and he will gather you again from all peoples where the Lord your God scattered you. If your, if your outcasts are in the uttermost parts of heaven, from, the, from there the Lord your God will gather you, and from there he will take you, and the Lord your God will bring you into the land that your fathers possessed that you may possess it and he will make you more prosperous and numerous than your fathers and the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the heart of your offspring so that you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul that you may live and the Lord your God will put all these curses on your foes and enemies who prosecuted persecuted you and you shall again obey the voice of the Lord and keep all his commandments that I command you today. The Lord your God will make you abundantly prosperous in all the work of your hands, in the fruit of your womb, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your ground. For the Lord will again take delight in prospering you, as he took delight in your fathers. Verse 10. When you obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandment and his statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. For this commandment that I command you today is not too hard for you, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who will ascend to the heavens for us and bring it to us? that we may hear it and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will go over the sea for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart, so that you can do it. Verse 15. See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you today, by loving the Lord your God, by walking in His ways, and by keeping His commandments, and His statutes, and His rules, then you shall live and multiply, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. Verse 17. But if your heart turns away, and you will not hear, but are drawn away to worship other gods and serve them. I declare to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are going over the Jordan to enter and possess. 
I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curse. Therefore, choose life that you and your offspring may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying his voice, and holding fast to him. He is your life, the length of days that you may dwell in the land that the Lord sworn to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Chapter 31. So Moses continued to speak these words to all Israel. And he said to them, I am 120 years old today. I am no longer able to go out and come in. The Lord has said to me, you shall not go over this Jordan. The Lord your God himself will go over before you. He will destroy these nations before you so that you shall dispose, dispossess them. Excuse me. And Joshua will go over at your head as the Lord has spoken. And the Lord will do to them as he did to Shion and Og, the kings of the Amorites, and to the land, to their land, when he destroyed them. And the Lord will give them over to you, and you shall do to them according to the whole commandment that I have commanded you. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in all the sight of Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you shall go with this people into the land that the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you shall put them in possession of it. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Chapter 9 then Moses wrote this law and gave it to the priests, the sons of Levi, who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, and to all the elders of Israel. And Moses commanded them, at the end of every seven years, and set, at the set time in the year of release, at the Feast of Booths, when all Israel comes to appear before the Lord your God at the place he will choose, you shall read this law before all Israel, in their hearing. Verse 12. Assemble the people, men, women, and little ones, and the sojourner within your towns, that they may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God. And be careful to do all the words of this law, and that their children, who have not known it, may hear it and learn to fear the Lord your God, as long as you live in the land that you are going over the Jordan to preserve. Verse 14. The Lord said to Moses, Behold the day's approach when you must die. Call Joshua and present yourselves in the tent of meeting, that I may commission him. And Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tent of meeting. And the Lord appeared in the tent in a pillar of cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood over the entrance of the tent. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, you are about to lie down with your fathers. Then this people will arise and, and tore after the foreign gods among them in the land that they are entering. And they will forsake me and break my covenant that I have made with them. Imagine no, all your hard work about to go down the drain. Mm. Then my anger will be kindled against them in that day. I will forsake them and hide my face from them, and they will be devoured. And many evils and troubles will come upon them, so that they will say in that day, Have not these evils come upon us because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day because of all the evil that they have done, because they have turned to other gods. Verse 19. Now, therefore write this song and teach it to the people of Israel. Put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the people of Israel. For when I have brought them into the land, flowing with milk and honey, I swore to give to their fathers, and they have eaten and are full and grown fat, 
they will turn to other gods and serve them and despise me and break my covenant. And when many evils and troubles have come upon them, their song shall confront them as a witness, for it will live unforgotten in the mouth of their offspring. For I know what they are inclined to do, inclined to do even today, before I have brought them into the land that I swore to give. So Moses wrote this song the same day and taught it to the people of Israel. And the Lord commissioned Joshua, son of Nun, and said, Be strong and courageous, for ye shall bring the people of Israel into the land that I swore to give them. I will be with you. When Moses had finished writing the words of the law in a book to the very end, Moses commanded the Levites, who carried out the covenant of the Lord, Take this book of the law and put it by the side of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be therefore a witness against you. For I know how rebellious and stubborn you are. Behold, even today, while I am yet alive with you, you have rebelled against the Lord. How much more after my death? Assemble to me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words into their ears and call heaven and earth to witness against them. But I know that after my death you will surely act corruptly and turn aside from the way that I have commanded you. And in the days to come, evil will befall you because you will do what is evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger through the works of your hands. So then Moses spoke the words of this song until they were finished in all of the ears in the assembly of Israel. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Thank you for joining me today. Please come back tomorrow for the continuation of the book of Deuteronomy, starting in chapter 32. I hope you all have a blessed day. And thank you for being on this journey with me.